Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yoon Jung Min. We start with the remarks by the North Korean leader's sister, Kim Yo Jong, having suggested inviting Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida to Pyongyang if conditions are met. Much speculation has been made about what could be behind this reckoning, and tonight we hear from Seoul's Unification Minister Kim Myung Ho himself about this. Our North Korean affairs correspondent Kim Jong Shu had a chance to sit down with him. Unification Minister Kim Young ho told Arirang News that Kim Yo Jong's statement came amid the historic diplomatic development between South Korea and Cuba the day before. I think North Korea must be in shock witnessing South Korea establishing diplomatic ties with Cuba. The only way for North Korea to get out from diplomatic isolation is to give up on its nuclear weapons as demanded by the international community. Some experts warned that Kim Yo-jung's statement may be aimed at trying to sabotage the trilateral relationship between South Korea, the U.S. and Japan. But Minister Kim said this will not be affected. The trilateral cooperation system between South Korea, the U.S. and Japan has never been more concrete since the Camp David summit last August. North Korea will never be able to get to Washington and Tokyo without going through Seoul. On Thursday evening, Kim Yo-jung released a rare statement saying that there may come a day when Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida visits Pyongyang so long as Japan does not bring up issues related to Japanese abductees and the regime's nuclear and missile programs. The statement came as Prime Minister Kishida said last week, now is the time to make bold moves and change the current situation, referring to relations with North Korea. So if Japanese and North Koreans make a bilateral deal, there will be a tension or, or like a difference of opinion between the allies in North Asia between Korea, Japan and the United States. And this is exactly something that uh, the North Koreans are trying to achieve here, essentially the travel wedge between Korea and Japan. But the outlook for a possible visit to Pyongyang by Kishida seems unlikely under such conditions. On Friday, Japan's chief cabinet secretary Yoshimasa Hayashi said Japan could not accept Kim Yo-jung's conditions. The Japanese government acknowledges 17 citizens having been abducted by North Korea between the late 70s and early 80s. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.